Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Lately, I've been sharing face mask tutorials because I wanted to share and help others how to make those masks due to COVID-19. But I wanted to jump in and do a quick tutorial so you can make something to give to your moms out there. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It is free. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want the template for this keychain, just head to my blog at ccdsmith.com. And if you scroll down, this is where you can sign up and get a password. Then go to the resource library and just enter the password that was given to you. And here it is. Just click download to grab the free file. I'm using a MacBook, so I'm just going to click OK. Now let's go ahead and go to design space and click upload. Upload. Browse. I'm going to my download folder and find the mom folder, which has already been unzipped. Choose the file that's on a SVG format. This way, when you double click the file, this is the screen where it will take you. Name the file. You can put a tag if you like, and then save. Click on the image, then insert. Now that we're on the workspace, click on the image, and I'm just going to move this up on the corner. I'm going to change the size to 7 inch in width and then enter. On the layers panel, the image is grouped, so I'm going to click ungroup. And it shows you right here that I can move the layers. And then just click make it. On this screen, I'm going to turn on the mirror on mat 1 and mat 2. Go back to mat 1 and click continue. My setting is in custom, so I'm going to choose the material and click on iron on. And right here, you can change the pressure to more or less or just stay in default. Now I'm going to get my mat and my HTV ready. And I'm going to place the HTV shiny side down. I'm just going to take this to my machine for a cut and I'll be right back. Now that it's done cutting, I don't have a video, but I'm just unloading my mat. Now let's go back to the screen and work on mat number two. I'm going to change the material to faux leather, thin paper, and I will put the pressure to more only because I like to make sure that it cuts through my material. And I will be placing the faux leather pretty side down on the cutting mat. Ensure that you are doing your own tests first in case your faux leather is thinner or thicker than mine. Now that it's done cutting, I'm going to carefully remove the material from the mat. Now I'm going to weed the HTV by poke and pull the vinyl from the corner and remove all the excess vinyl that I don't need. Here's the faux leather and I'm going to place the HTV on top of it. What's so nice about the HTV, it is movable if you're not happy where it's been placed before you press the vinyl. I'm placing a Teflon sheet on top of the faux leather just in case my press is too hot and I don't want to melt my material. Press with the mini press and just glide it for a bit and just keep an eye on it. Let it cool down, then remove the carrier. And this is completely optional, but you can also add a couple of cardstock in the middle to make the keychain stiffer. By placing the cardstock in the middle of the faux leather, I'm just using E6000 to keep this all together. Before I forget, first I'm going to insert the round key ring and slide it all the way to the center. Now I'm going to put and spread E6000 all over this side. Place the cardstock paper. Then I'm going to do the other side and spread E6000 all over as well. Then do the other side and spread E6000 all over on this side. 
and then take the side and bring it over to the other end and just line it up and then press to keep everything together. And that's it, you guys. Let me know what you think of this project or if you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like or leave me a comment. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my video. Thank you for watching and happy Mother's Day. God bless.